come to the bold analysis. If you check Twitter tonight, 16th of November, TJ Tony Geshoka, Geshoka is trending. So I want to tell you why he's trending. So that uh, you also help, help us. He's soon affidavit and he's saying that NAC Kenya Party that is led by Charity Ngilu should change his name because he was supposed to be amongst the people to be nominated to the National Assembly to represent people living with disability. So the former KTN journalist has gone to court and Martha Kome ordered him to pay 500,000 Kenyan shilling. It's an election related petition and the case is supposed to be had. So let's look at how it unraveled. Until June 2022, TJ Tony Geshoka was a life member of Orange Democratic Movement, which is led by former Prime Minister, His Excellency Raila Muladinga. But then he resigned and joined NAC, which is led by Kitui Governor Charity Ngilu. At this point, NAC Kenya had also not made Kenya NAC. Had you know there is NAC Kenya for Mother Karwa and there is NAC for Charity Ngilu. So NAC had also joined Azimula Umoja. So it was an affiliate party of Azimula Umoja. And when the party submitted names of persons to be considered for nominations, he's saying that maliciously his name was left out. And because that movement to end to, to NAC, if you ask me, was maybe intended, it was a negotiated uh, uh, a move so that he would actually move away, move to NAC, and to be nominated, when that list came out, his name was left out. Now, that is why Tony Geshoka has gone to court to sue Na Kenya. Um, he says that the party under Azimila Umoja, one Kenya, had undertaken to have him first in the nomination, in its nomination list, being a person living with disability. But in the list submitted to the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, his name did not appear. Azimila Umoja, um, I think the parties that nominated people were only ODM, Jubilee, and Wiper. Now, Azimila Umoja nominated Crystal Asige, the musician um, who is visually impaired, to represent people living with disability in the Senate. I don't know about the other parties. Now, according to a constitutional provision, Article 97, is that each political party is supposed to nominate. Now, in Azimula Umoja, Tony Geshoka is uh, arguing that the other affiliate parties were not given nomination slots, or another were not given that uh, opportunity to nominate people living with disability. So, from this, I am... I can say that he seems to be chasing a wild goose. He's on a wild goose chase. I've always found I've always found it difficult to even get that English right. Yeah, wild goose chase. Eh? What he's looking for, even the NAC party was not given. But he's saying that he needs to, and of course that's why the High Court has ordered him to pay 500,000 as a security in the election petition challenging the omission of his name from persons that ought to be nominated to the National Assembly. I don't know what's your just quick reaction to that. Um, I want to look at the comment section today. I'll, get, I'll take some time tonight so that I see what can you think about it. I have a feeling that if Tony Geshoka was to be nominated under Azimio, then the safest party where that would be guaranteed was the mighty ODM party. 
<laughs> if it was to be given it was through all the empire because not kenya was weak and i i really sympathize or i really i really relate to this because one thing i know is election has a lot of backroom negotiations in terms of funding because if you just uh, this story is developing it's evolving i know when as as it heads to court we are going to find what exactly was promised what was to be given and was not been given we are going to get to the nitty gritties of this so that you will just understand the dark side of politics how maybe money exchange hands and so maybe supported or sponsored some candidates and so because it's not just a matter of being given on friendship and when you see him pulling a last minute trigger heading to court this must be something that is very bitter charity guy is also in court over a land that uh, was bought by the late husband mwendwa around mombasa airport and of course i, I think i read it in one of the newspapers that of course is also been there but where is charity ngilu by the way where is ngilu eh? um these are people that were very strong critic i remember at the campaign trail at one point i should not remind you but just allow me to remind you that at one point it was saying that um not even watch news watch news seeing ruto you just okay let me not go beyond that what are we seeing from this move kindly subscribe to our channel click the notification bell and also like our video i want to say thank you for those who support those who send your coffee but then nairobi is very cold yes nairobi is nairobi is very cold now so if you are flying back here make sure you put on heavy clothes that's why you will see most of us in suits all through it's because it's a, it's a bit cold so you need to be well covered now dragging charity ngilu in court is very dangerous for zimelo moja it is a catastrophe for zimelo moja because when you head to court and this petition is going or when the hearing of this petition continues it opens leaves on many things that happened behind the scene and in fact there are many tony gashokas out there there are many tony gashokas out there people who are promised heaven but that heaven is not there that it there is devil in the details and when you reveal the details of any other agreements there are many tony gashokas there so at this pre- uh, critical point in time it is of course within his democratic right to get what probably was promised but at then it exposes as so as you might have to handle it even though um i i am a proponent of the death of azimila umoja that, that that's not a coalition that will then use for future election because it has its own baggage moving the move to the same from what they most strategic what geshoka is not saying is what the driver tell him before moving to what from ODM what exactly was it was it to be dominated by ODM and did to act then he had to be uh, i think the signal was all there so nak did not get any nomination so i'm even wondering how this is going to work because nak do not have any nomination slot i don't know whether finally and i have a feeling that finally this can help him get a deal uh, anything uh if if something is going to be available for him from government side it's going to be an interesting it's going to be a very interesting petition to see how this is going to play out because we know that even nak kenya uh they did not get something if you can try to look at it differently but they did not get something he's heading to court and anglican archbishop on a pit while speaking in narok was urging politicians that kindly withdraw election petitions <laughs> so that the country uh they can be seamless uh, transitions especially in different areas so what is the position we should get a lot of it i, I would be so much interested in this petition to see how this plays out 
uh, whether Gilu is going to is having something that she could give uh, to to Tony Geshoka TJ, or this is going to end another natural death because again I I think uh, I've looked at his prayers. He's praying that the Azmiu list that was taken to the National Assembly should be squashed and the his name should be added and any other nomination revoked. After it being revoked, then his name can be added. He was supposed to be number one in the list. But nomination in Fanny Kitambo, why now? Okay, I had not thought about that. Nomination had been done, and I think Kenyans felt like we were already done with it. What do you think is the rationale behind now raising the point now? It's it's very interesting to see uh, how this is going to play out. And I'm also asking, now that we are talking about Charity Ngilu, she was in the same group with, the ha group with Hassan Joho. I've not been seeing Joho. Tuju or Paranya. Hey, but hey, where hey, is that club? Another one is Peter Ke Peter Kenneth. Peter Kenneth. Uh, he's also not been don't I've also not been seeing him. The last time we saw Murad Murad was heading to ESCC. And of course, that is the politics of this country. And Peter Munya, by the way, yeah, let's meet in the next.